Rama kills Ravana. See, Rama is the subject, Ravana is the object, and kills is a verb. According to the verb here, kills is a verb. What verb is this? What verb is this? See, verb. So, let's Verb will show tense. If it is a verb, it will have past tense and present tense. Present tense. <coughs> See, some verbs do not show tense. So, it was again classified into verbs of or classified into finite verbs and non finite verbs. So, only finite verbs will show things. This is a finite verb because the, in the place of uh, kills, we can use Rama, kill the Rama. So, it has past tense. So, we say it is a finite verb. Finite under name is it is a transitive verb as it is the active voice we say it is a transitive verb so kills is a transitive verb kills is a verb kills is a transitive verb kills is a finite verb finite verb why is it a transitive verb because there is an object there is an object for it so it is a transitive verb why is it a Finite verb because it will show tense. So when, it, when you convert this into passive voice, we say Ravana is killed by Rama. I said there must be by voice. Here, what verb is this? This is not a finite verb because it will not show things. Here, the supporting verb will show things. Rama is killed by Rama. Rama, uh, Rama is killed by Rama. Rama was killed by Rama. So, <coughs> this killed remains as such. The supporting verb changes. Supporting verb changes. So, here, main verb changes tense. Here, main. This verb does not change in tense, but the, the supporting verb is changing tense. Can you understand this? Yes. Rama, in the place of Rama, Rama was killed by Rama. We can write. So, this will change into was. This will change into was. This kills will, can change into killed. If you take this predicate theory, Rama kills Ravana becomes Rama does kill Ravana. Thus is the key predicate word. Kill is a noun. Kill is a because it will not show things. Rama does kill Rama. Rama did kill Rama. So here, kill is not going to kill change. So here, it is a noun. It is a key predicate word. Then, Rama is killed by Rama. This is passive voice. Here, is is the key predicate word. In the place of thus, we get his. It is a noun. Again, it is a noun. Past to participle. It is a noun. It will not change. Another word change. So, in one, in this theory, 
the verb disappears. We get wrong. So you can have this knowledge as well as that knowledge. Okay? You can then you will understand the matter completely. What is the difference between this theory and this theory? You can follow any method. What you think is, you must know how to convert the active voice into passive voice. You must convert active voice into passive voice. What is the theory behind it? What is the theory behind it? So, you can write this drama. In the place of Ram, uh, Rama kills uh, Ravana, I use killed Ravana. How can you convert this into passive voice? How can you convert, you have to bring the object to this side? Ravana? Ravana was killed by Rama. Then, what was this? this? What was this? this was it is a supporting one. Supporting verb. <coughs> Whether this is a finite verb or non finite verb. Whether this is a finite verb or non finite verb. It is a finite verb. Why it is a finite verb? Finite verb will change, it, uh, change its tense. Rama was killed Rama. Ravana is killed by Rama. So, is will change into was. Or was will change into is. So, it is a finite word. What is this? This killed? Finite word or non-finite word? It will not undergo any change. So, it is non-finite word. Non Another sentence. See, uh, 
there are many tenants here. There are, these tenants can be present about 12 different ways. I think wise there are 12 different methods for representing the IP voice. Rama is killing Rama. Killing Rama. In order to convert, this is active voice. In order to convert this into passive voice, we must take this to this side. In the start of Rama. So, Rama. He is killing Rama. Is it correct? Is it correct? No, wrong. It is wrong. Why it is wrong? It is in a different meaning. Here Rama is killing Rama. Here Ravana is killing this. The two the meaning, meaning of this sentence is different from the meaning of this sentence. So when you convert IQ voice into passive voice, meaning should not change. Then also should not change. So Ravana is killing Ra Rama. We have to Convert into passive voice. Ravana, Ravana is being killed by Rama. Here, the passive voice, see, in the past part, this is, if you say, kill, kill. Kills, killed, <coughs> killing, this is the present participle, ing form, in the past participle there is no ing form, there is no ing form, so an ing form is a term. Any form is prepared. See, this form must be there in the passive voice also. What can, how can we change this? So, for that, being is used. Being converts filled into an IMD form. In the passive voice. In the passive voice. In the verb theory does not explain this like this. The verb theory says, oh, add one more auxiliary, uh, add one more supporting verb. Why is this being added? It does not explain. Why is it, what is the reason for adding one more auxiliary, one more supporting verb? Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. The Rama is hilly Rama. Rama is being killed by? This is was killing, was being killed by Rama. With Rama was killing Ravana. Then Rama was being killed by Rama. Okay? Here it is. The, the tense should not change. When you convert the active voice into passive voice, tense should not change. Tense should remain like that. So, the verb theory, this is a this is a finite verb, this is a non-finite verb. This is a non-finite verb. Sorry, sir. Sir, the was more than a finite verb. Was, it, it, it will, it will change into was. That, so that is why any verb that changes the form is finite verb. And any verb that shows tense is finite verb. See, according to verb to theory, According to one theory, whether this is reasonable or not, you have to decide. This is how they, as it is not reasonable, I am telling you another method. But this is the standard method. For under three active voices to passive voices, according to the verb theory, as you 
we study this in the books. In all books it is written like this. So I am writing like this. Not that I am supporting this. Only thing is, how is this given in your book? It is, uh, Rama is killing Ravana. There will be a sentence like this. It is kind of a good passive voice like this. Rama is being killed by Rama. And they will not explain why. Why it is being, or how you introduce being. What is the meaning of ease? So being understand, killing one another. Ease then is our doubt. It's on the active, the passive voice level, the most important part is that our doubt is. हाँ, passive voice is Ram, Ravana was, Ravana was killing Rama. Rama, Rama. Was killing Ravana. So Ravana was being killed by Rama. Now we understand, sir. Huh? Now we understand. Ah. Uh. So was must be there. What is the meaning of was? This is supporting verb. This is supporting verb. What is they say one more auxiliary or one more supporting verb? And that is why we are adding one being. Being. Whether it is a verb or noun, according to verb theory, it is a verb. According to verb theory, this also is a verb. This is a verb. This is a verb. Whether all the three or three verbs or one verb, one verb. Understand? This is a verb, this is a verb, this is a verb. There are three verbs. Whether the three verbs are three, uh, three different verbs or one verb, one verb. So it is quite unreasonable. It is quite unreasonable. See, it is not a, not, not a rational interpretation. So our mind is not a rational interpretation. But in the book, it is written in study and write. That is different. Without knowing what is what, we will write. Whether they say it is a verb, or we have to say it is a verb. When someone says well, it is written as verb, we say it is a verb. But I don't agree with that. That is why I am giving another interpretation. Another interpretation. What is the meaning? How we get this being? See, they say it is a verb. Then, so this is a verb. So it is, this verb is modifying this verb. Uh, so it must be our verb in that sense. Then, how these be and kill will combine and give one verb? See, when there is a supportive verb and the main verb, they say, here there is a supportive verb. And this is main verb. Actually, it is a noun. It is a verb. Uh, according to verb theory. So, how can a verb support a noun? Killing is a noun. But they say killing is a non-finite verb. Here it is finite verb. Uh, Here it is finite verb. So, no student will actually understand what is finite verb and what is non-finite verb. No student, here this you teach again and again. He said finite verb. And uh, even the college teachers say, they say there is a verb called finite verb. In this way they explain everything. And what is finite verb? They will not tell. So here, <coughs> it's still killing. How we get to be, see, become, give, do plus become. becomes is does plus become became did plus become the abbreviation for this become is be 
become is D. So here there is no predicate. In this become there is no predicate. Do just plus or D. In this become there is do in this become. There is plus in this become. When, when they act as predicates, with negates, there is this. So B is the abbreviated form of this become and not this become. So in this B there is no that there is no do or do did or did uh, do did or does. See if you take B B pass from a present participle of B is B. Past participle is B. See this is a noun. This is a noun. This is a noun. So B is a noun. This B is a noun. B is a noun. B is a noun. Here B is a noun. Agar you predicate there is B is a noun. This is the key predicate word. B converts this noun converts another noun into is the killing form. Ing form. This change in the meaning. Noun can modify another noun. A noun can modify another noun. So, do you understand this? This is this is a noun. This is a noun. This is a noun. And the books it is written as say this is the reason why I could not teach. Uh, English grammar. When I was dealing with it, I could not say these all say all these things because there will be a total confusion. Two years ago, I did not <coughs> tell all these things. So only thing is I said there is no verb, no verb in the sentences, only nouns and predicates, and uh, and uh, I could not explain. See even now. Now you don't understand it. So what would have happened if I explained all these things two or three years ago? You could not have understood anything. So so in the in this Rama is giving.
is not the Percentage of this. Do you, will you agree? See, I asked this in the first hold up for three or four days ago with a teacher. There was a lion teacher. There was a lion teacher. See, I asked him, what is the percentage of will? Will is not the percentage of will. How can there be a percentage? See, if it is the percentage of if it is a presentence of will, then we say will is a actually will denotes will denotes future tense. Will stands for expressing future tense. It is not for present tense. It is not for present tense. So will is not the present tense. If it is will is the present tense of then you will say uh, would uh, the past tense of uh, if would is the past tense of will. Then you will say the will is the present tense of would. Actually will is not the present tense of will. Will is not the present tense of will. So to say to say that. Would is the past tense of will is terribly wrong. Come. He may not come or would not come. 
Or he will come or he will not come. So there is a probability. There is a probability. We don't know. See, there is no feature. We have no feature. The value has no feature. Nothing has any feature. Feature, you can think of feature only if it exists. Otherwise there is no feature for us. The moment we leave, we leave. And next moment what happens, we don't know. The next, very next moment what happens, we don't know. We leave now. That is the the meaning of English language. English language talks about the present tense and past tense, not the future tense. That is why they are not using is and was. A word similar to is and was is not being used for future tense. They have used a completely different set of words. Will, would, can, would, shall, should, may, might, must, out to, so like that. They give the name modal. Modals. Yeah, I, I can, I, whether the name is a right or whether they have the modals. Modals modify the meaning of this term. Actually, it is displays he does come. Here, the will displaces does. It is a predicate, the key predicate word. It is displaced in the key predicate word and in that place it introduces will. So the key predicate word escapes. There is no key predicate word. The key will come. This is a noun. Here this is a noun. Here this is a noun. So we say it is an imaginary predicate word. Imaginary predicate word. Because it is imaginary. Whether he exists or not, we don't know. Whether he will come or not, we don't know. So it is an imaginary word. The verb theory, it is a verb. Will it show tense? It will not show tense. According to the verb theory, it must show tense. They, they, the verbs don't say and the show tense, they say it, will, it is a non-finite word. So they, they might say it is a non-finite word. They also must say, might say it is a non-finite word. Non-finite verb. Many of you will not understand anything I, don't, I know. And uh, anyhow, I must say this. One day or other, I must say this. The difference. There is no, you must know, there is no word corresponding to does or do, do, does and this, and he, was and the are for the future tense. So how will you convert? How will you convert the active voice into passive voice? How will you convert active voice into passive voice? Tama will kill the arma. Tama will kill the arma. See, to take this to this place. Tama will be killed by by Rama. So the B is a noun. Again, B is a noun. Kill is a noun. Kill is a past person. The kill, from the kill, we have taken the dust bit. The place of C. It plus kill. When it is a pretty case. When it is past participle, you cannot. When it is past participle, you cannot split it. Past participle. Past tense. Uh, when it is a pretty case, you can split like that. When it functions as a, a past participle, it is a noun and you cannot split that. So here you cannot split it. Here you can't, this is also is a noun, you cannot speak it. So, 
the the predicate pair will be giving a more reasonable explanation. Here there is no predicate, only imaginary predicate is there. Okay, you understand something? You need not know all these things in such a way that, that but if you can follow one of it was something, if this is something great, you can tell your sisters, hey, this is this, you don't know, this is this, this is brother, you are studying in the English medium, you don't know this, you can ask, you can ask, okay? That is the difference between your students and other students. You can give your interpretation. You can give your explanation. You can teach others. You can teach others. Even at this young age, you can teach others. This is this. This is this. This many of this is this. You can write. See, I will write one or two sentences. Two, ten, the first ten, the first ten, the first ten, the first ten. Strong minds discuss ideas. If you are strong, you will discuss the idea behind something. Behind the grammar. What is the correct thing? What is wrong? Whether this right or wrong? How will you convert active words into passive words? How many words are there? How many subjects are there? You will discuss like that. Average, if you are average mind, you will talk about something happened today. Yesterday, what uh, Narendra Modi did today, etc. If you are very big mind, who is Narendra Modi? Who is someone? You talk about individuals. The ideas are more important. Ideas are, we must think, discuss ideas. Whether this idea is correct, that idea is correct. So, who said this? Aristotle said this. Aristotle. How many? 
when there are three subjects, there must be equal number of predicates. There must be equal number of predicates. What are the predicates? This is one predicate. Discuss. Idea of another predicate. Discuss. These are the predicates. Okay. You understand this? You understand this? There is one subject, there will be one predicate. When there are three subjects, there must be three predicates. There must be three predicates. I will write one more sentence. See, this is another philosopher, Plato. Plato said this. This is a tricky sentence. Very tricky sentence. How many subjects and how many predicates are there? Whether there is any real subject and real predicate. Or whether there is some imaginary subject and imaginary predicate only. First of all, you must know whether there is subject of subject and predicate interaction here. And then you must know whether it is real subject and real predicate. You can easily forgive a child who is afraid of thought. See, the children will be afraid of thought. If there is a child, they will go to the mother. See, there is no right. Please uh, tell me. That is the tendency of the children. Tendency of the children. <coughs> but men should not be afraid of life. Men, men are afraid of life. See, when we discuss this, the people must listen to that. People must listen to that. When you shed some knowledge, and this knowledge, it, you should not give any uh, uh, other meaning to that. The knowledge is always knowledge. It must be absorbed by all. So, you are not telling this. We cannot uh, follow this. That should not be the uh, policy. We can easily forgive a child who is afraid of thought. Is there a subject and predicate here? Actually, there is no subject and predicate. Here, we can. Whether we forgive karma, we don't forgive. If we forgive, we can say there is a subject. We can. We, we don't do that. It, it's all about the future. All about the future. So, it's only an imaginary predicate. <coughs> imaginary predicate. So, there is no actual subject. Real subject and real predicate. Imaginary. And similarly, when men are aware, this is a predicate. But when will convert this into an imaginary when the when will destabilize the entire sentence when will change the meaning of the entire sentence when men are afraid of the light so here also there is no subject and predicate there is a imaginary subject and imaginary predicate that is the importance of this uh, models. Models will take the 
subject to the teacher. What are some such takes the subject to the teacher? And this model, sinners containing models have not been given for conversion of gambler sinners into simple sinners, simple sinners into gambler sinners, and so on. But the colleges and schools, they are being given. Okay? Do you understand something today? Did you understand something today? Yes. There is nothing more. See, I have nothing more to tell. I have nothing more to tell. Okay.